Psychedelic drugs can cause hallucinations, altering the way people see, hear, and experience the world for hours. Now some researchers say they could also be our best hope to treat or even cure depression. It really is a fascinating, fascinating yeah. thing. CBS 17's Maggie Newland is digging deeper into the potential of psychedelic drugs for mental health. When many people think of psychedelic drugs, they think of the 60s and 70s, concerts and tie-dye. Not a doctor's office or research laboratory at the University of North Carolina. But the work here may dictate what psychedelic drugs are used for in the future, like treating depression. We have in the pipeline are planning a uh, psilocybin study. Psilocybin is the active ingredient in magic mushrooms. While that study is still in the works, Dr. Robert McClure, the director of interventional psychiatry at UNC, is already treating patients with ketamine, which acts on the brain differently but shares some similarities with psychedelic psilocybin. It does you know, create mind-altering experiences, but it's much shorter acting. It sends you into a whole body experience. It's almost like a buzz. In order to protect her privacy, this woman who lives in the triangle asked us not to show her face or share her name. She says she's battled depression for decades. I felt like I was literally in the gutter with two hands up saying, please help me. After trying numerous other medications, she now receives esketamine, a nasal spray form of ketamine that's FDA approved to treat depression. She experiences the mind altering effects of the treatment for an hour or two. I didn't really hallucinate, but I could see, you know, like if I look at the ceiling, it looked like it was moving just slightly. They may feel like they're on the outside of their body looking in. They may have altered uh, vision or alterations of what they see. Do we think those experiences, out of body experiences are actually playing a role in eliminating the depression or alleviating the depression? That's not 100% clear. Those side effects are very intense, but they're, they, they pass within uh, one or two hours. After a few treatments, it, it, I started to feel better. Dr. McClure says psilocybin may relieve depression even more quickly and substantially, but it produces longer lasting, more intense hallucinogenic effects, which means treatments are intense and time consuming. Mystical, spiritual experiences, the altered perceptions last longer for up to six to eight hours. So patients need to be monitored and supported for up to six to eight hours. While that works for some patients, it wouldn't be practical for everyone, even if studies ultimately do show psychedelics are safe and effective mental health treatments. That's one reason Dr. Brian Roth, distinguished professor of pharmacology at UNC, is looking for ways to take the trip out of psychedelic drugs. He's been researching psychedelics since the 80s and says they've shown incredible promise in treating depression in small early stage clinical trials. The results were remarkable. I mean, it's, it's, I'm a psychiatrist by training, um, and there's nothing that we have that uh, has that potential effect. But psychedelic drugs face another barrier. In addition to time and cost that would come with treatment, many people simply don't want to hallucinate. When I treated patients with depression, you know, the vast majority of them, if I would have raised the possibility of eating magic mushrooms, there's no way. Now Dr. Roth's lab is working to determine whether the therapeutic aspects of psychedelics can be separated from the hallucinogenic aspects. We're actually making drugs now uh, or drug-like compounds that interact with the same sites in the brain that psychedelic drugs do, but they don't have, they don't cause the psychedelic effect. His team's next step is to find the right compound to bring to clinical trials. As researchers investigate psychedelic treatments, both with and without the hallucinogenic trip, people who know the darkness of depression are grateful for any potential advances. Mental illness exists and does need to be treated and there should be options. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. And Dr. Roth also says psychedelics cannot be given to anyone with a family history of schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. He says there is also some concern about heart valve disease in some patients if they use the drug repeatedly over an extended period of time. Yeah, the study Dr. McClure is planning would look at just one or two psilocybin treatments, not long-term use.